it's 2024 and everything feels just a little bit messy a little bit cluttered like a little bit all over the shop honestly usually i do a lot of my like space resetting and mental resetting in december but i feel like this year december was really about like getting things done i launched my podcast with four episodes it now has six episodes i released like six videos i launched the consistency course on the intention app and all of those are so great and wonderful however what i really want to do is have like just a week creating that fresh start feeling the first thing i want to do is clear out my email inbox because it's a new year. I should not have a single email in my inbox. I want inbox zero. Before I do that, I'm gonna shower because I just worked out in it. I feel like this outfit is very much giving. I'm ready to work. Like, isn't that a little workaby outfit? I think so. All right, I'm trying a new foundation from MCO Beauty. This foundation comes with like a big doe foot applicator. I've never seen anything like that for a foundation. Okay, I'm a little shiny, but it still looks good. I'm fed, I am showered. First things first, clearing out the email inbox. Nothing weighs more on my mind than unanswered emails. Mark Forster talks about this idea of hunting for the black clouds, which is really kind of just like a life admin day framed in a different way where you just hunt for the things that are like weighing you down, like the black clouds that are like fogging up your mind. And I feel like this is one of my black clouds. I actually had a few emails that felt like black clouds, so getting them answered felt so good. Now we're headed to Spotlight. I'm picking up a click and collect that I ordered last year. <laughs> Stop. I ordered some curtains and I really like haven't felt like picking them up. So we're gonna do that now. Now I'm deep cluttering my closet. All of my clothes. I feel like this is much needed. Like my drawers in particular are getting like overstuffed. Before I declutter my closet though, I'm going to tidy because it's a bit of a mess in here. I just don't feel fresh. I really just like want this whole room to feel super fresh. I think that's gonna be my my project. And just go around this entire office and freshen it up. My sister was talking about how domestic blisters speaks about the importance of differentiating between cleaning, tidying, and organizing, which is something that I already do. I'm really good at like keeping those things separate. I know the difference between a tidy, a clean, and organizing. Right now though, I'm definitely doing like all three in one. And I think I'm okay with that because I'm gonna spend like a few days resetting in, getting my space feeling nice. I'm like, eh, we can do them all in one go. But yeah, usually you should really either tidy or clean or organize. I'm gonna do a quick makeup declutter because I definitely don't declutter my makeup often enough. And I do buy makeup sometimes that I just like end up not liking, but I keep it there because I'm like, what if? And then I never use it. Okay, that is exactly the energy that I needed to like create momentum in my day. So I was feeling kind of flat. Like I was like, eh, I'm not really feeling this resetting. And then, I mean, it doesn't look much different, but it feels different. And it just like feels so nice to declutter and clean out little areas. I'm gonna move on to the other side of the dresser. There's not too much to declutter, but I'm just gonna like clean it out and make it feel nice. I feel like my style has shifted a lot in the last year or so and I've done more thrifting than I usually do. And I have old clothes that I'm just not that into. So taking everything out of my wardrobe and my drawers and decluttering just felt really good and really necessary. I've made so much room progress and I feel lighter. I love this feeling. I miss this feeling. This is all of the clothing that I'm donating. So not too much, but sadly, I just have black left. I don't know what it is. I feel with black, it's easier to keep hold of it. Cause you're like, well, I will definitely wear that. Whereas with lighter stuff, a lot of this is like thrifted lighter stuff and it's just not high quality. I think I need to buy some newer light tops or it's just tops that like the cut doesn't look good on me. This one's thrifted and it's just like, feels like it's falling apart. This one I thrifted and it actually is really cute. It looks like it's brand new. I think it was a company donated it because it wasn't sold or something. It looks cute and then I put it on, I'm like, oh, it's just not me at all thrifted the color green just isn't the right color shade rather and that's a lot of the energy of this pile but sadly it's like all of my light stuff and i really want to lean into light clothing so i'm gonna put this all in a bag reminder that january february fabulous time to go thrifting because you know everyone's gonna be donating their stuff like around that time ish i was very much in the decluttering spirit so i gave the shelves in my room a bit of a tidy a bit of a declutter i got rid of things that i held on to for so long because i've been like i'm gonna do something with that and in a way it felt like i was decluttering almost most projects because some physical items are like in themselves projects and these were just projects that I just never gotten around to and this was me formally deciding like okay that's a project that I'm letting go so I wasn't planning on decluttering the bookshelf but then as I went I was like I don't need this I don't need this and now I have just all of this stuff and I'm sitting here feeling a little bit overwhelmed which tends to happen when I like declutter and organize I get in this state of like oh god I don't know what to do next the only thing that I've ever found works when I'm in this state is just focusing on like the very next tangible action and trying to let go of focus on absolutely anything anything else because usually it's just that you're trying to like hold all of the to-dos in your head instead of just focusing on the very next thing. 
I bought two of these massive calendars for the new year and one was my office, so I got that all set up. I love having every single date on one big page. This one I'm gonna use more for work stuff. My mission for the day is to reset the hallway, make it feel super functional and refreshed for the new year and get rid of the black cloud that is my taxes. It would feel so good to get that out of the way. But first things first, I'm gonna fake tan, have a little brekkie, get myself situated for the day. I did a bit of an everything shower and I got some fake tan on and while I roasted a fake tan, I did my groceries. Finally got my taxes sorted for last year. I do have a longer deadline because I'm with my accountant, that's how it works, but even still, I put this off for as long as I could and it felt so good getting it done. It's been a few hours, but my taxes are done. That's like such a big win. I really wanted to tick it off. I don't know, I have all these little things that I'm like, damn, I don't wanna be carrying these into the new year. And I have carried them into the new year, but I'm like, I think I'm gonna make my official new year like, the 1st of February and in January just try to get done all of those like annoying lingering longer tasks like tax because I do a lot of my like little life admin tasks when it comes to like my big life admin tasks that I have to set aside like a day or half a day for I will put them off because I'm like so much work and effort. So now I'm going to shower off my fake tan, get dressed and we are resetting the hallway. I'm showered. So the first mission of the day was getting my taxes done. We did it, we ticked it off. I feel so good about that. The next mission is sorting out this absolute chaotic hallway that has just gone to shambles over the Christmas period. You know how like it takes like a half a day to a day just to like sort out all the stuff that you got for Christmas and everything just gets messed up. Like that's the energy in our hallway. We're starting from the start. At the start of the hallway, there were like a million bags and just random bits and bobs that just don't really belong in the hallway. I went through all the bags to see what I wanted to actually live in this space as well as what could go in storage. Just getting this really decluttered and clear felt really good. It's definitely rubbish behind that. This is a painting that I hooked down so long ago that I haven't gotten rid of. So that needs to go to the thrift shop. Packaging. Something else to unwrap. A calendar that has to go up a box of cutlery that I'm not 100% sure what to do with yet. And this whole thing is so dysfunctional, so I'm gonna try and do something about that. First, I got rid of all the stuff that had just accumulated over the holidays and even that felt really good. This second little seat thing never got much use and the shelves underneath it had just gotten so cluttered and useless and I think it's because you couldn't visibly see them. They felt really cramped. So I wanted to make it feel less cramped, more open and easy and functional to use. I took off the little seat and I just made it match the other shelves that I had. We had these sticky things on my wall that I dumbly applied thinking that they would be easy to get off. They were not easy to get off. I did the most to remove them. I definitely did a bit of a shoddy job, like this whole thing, it needs a bit of a repaint. Right now, the floor is a bit of a mess. So I'm gonna clean that up. I'll clean the kitchen. Luke bought Crocs ages ago and when he bought them, I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe you bought Crocs. And now look at me. I wear his massive Crocs like every other day. I wanna buy my own Crocs. I want little white Crocs in my life. They are sold out everywhere. Who knew Crocs were so popular? Anyways, this is me for now walking around in Luke's little Crocs. So this is what the entryway looks like. I've cleared out most of the bags. One of the bags is in the wash though. This has been nice and cleared out. Loads of space has been made. The calendar has gone up. I really like the calendar layout. I don't like that it's, I don't know, it's flimsy and it sits against the wall really strange in saying that. I don't think I could find anything this big that wasn't flimsy. I just really wanted something that had the whole year. I took the top off of this because it just wasn't being used very well. I'm gonna fill that with lots of little things to put on our calendar. So like post-it notes and pens and stuff like that. And then the rest of it is just used for more shoes because it's very much shoe storage. It doesn't look like I've done much, but I have. I feel like I, oh, and then I got all the weird gunky stuff off the wall, which literally was just like me sitting there for like two hours, just like <laughs> prodding at it. And now I am so bloody tired, like so unexpectedly tired. Our new dishwasher came this afternoon. So we got another box, another thing to clear out from the hallway, but that's okay. 
Like it's good because our dishwasher has been broken. We haven't been able to use it. I'm gonna continue my resetting throughout January. So I'm gonna do a part two of this video. Do another little weekend reset to get myself in that fresh state of mind because my new year is starting on February 1st. And your new year might also be starting on February 1st. So join me. We are black cloud hunting in January, starting fresh in Feb. If you like this kind of video and you want something to play in the background while you get your own resetting done, I have a whole life admin playlist where I just get this kind of stuff done generally. You may see me doing the same stuff over and over again because that's kind of life. You constantly need to be resetting the same things. You can join me on that playlist while you get your stuff done until the next vlog.